Hey guys, it's Zhang and today it's 105 degrees outside so I still need to eat but I'm not gonna heat up the kitchen. I'm actually gonna be making something really interesting. It's a vegan poke using watermelon. It's gonna be super refreshing and we're gonna give it like the savory tones to our favorite summer fruit. So I don't know if you guys know how to pick out a watermelon, the perfect watermelon should feel a lot heavier than its size. So this one, even though it looks really small, it's quite heavy. And I always look for ones with like a sun spot where it's nice and concentrated yellow. That's where all the sugars kind of develop. So this one is gonna be good. So to make our watermelon poke, I'm just gonna cut it up. And for this recipe, I always try to use a seedless variety because taking seeds out isn't really that fun. So this one is nice and crisp. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, always knock it too if it sounds hollow. It's also pretty good, but this one looks perfect. Set this one aside. We're only gonna be using half today. So just remove the rind however you normally would do that. Got a little chef's treat right here. Mmm, that is a good one. So for watermelon poke, if you get a bad one, like one that's not that flavorful, I would definitely use it for this poke recipe. If you get like a really sweet one, just go ahead and eat it as you normally would. I feel like it would be kind of a waste to make it with this, but it's okay. The point of this is to not cook today. So I'm gonna remove the rind. I actually like the whites of the watermelon. It's, it gives a nice crunch and when you marinate it, it absorbs all the flavor anyways. So I'm gonna leave a little bit on like this. It becomes kind of like pickled watermelon. And now I'm gonna chop it up into about one inch cubes, just like you would with your poke, with your fish. It just smells so good. And then I smell the ginger and the garlic. I already know the combination is gonna be amazing. Well, it is, cause I've had it. <laughs> All right, so our watermelon's done. I'm gonna transfer it into a container and we'll set it aside. Okay, now we're gonna make our sauce. So the direction I'm taking this is kind of a citrusy miso. It's very tangy, it's very balanced. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a clove of garlic I've already minced, add it into another bowl. Then I'm gonna add my ginger, a little honey for extra sweetness, sesame oil, some miso, and then for the salty soy sauce component, I found this yuzu ponzu, which is like a Japanese citrus. Ponzu, um, yeah, I think it's just like citrus soy sauce. If you can't find yuzu ponzu, you can also just find ponzu, which is a citrus seasoned soy sauce. This one has lemon juice in it, or or if you guys shop at Trader Joe's, cause who doesn't? They also have this yuzu hot sauce that you can just mix it in with some soy sauce, or if you want, you can just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice or orange juice or lime juice with your soy sauce to create your own. Honestly, it all works. So we'll add it into our bowl and give it a good mix, mix, mix. Give it a taste to see if it's balanced and how you like it. Mm, I like it. And then I like to add in my green scallions. I chopped up one, I'm gonna save half for later. And now we marinate our watermelon with this mixture. Our sauce is gonna kind of fall to the bottom, but it's okay. Just give it a good shake or stir it up every few mm, hour. So close it up and just kind of rotate it. Don't shake it because you don't want to break up the watermelon and just let it really distribute. Yeah. See, it kind of got all over. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge to marinate and just chill out a little bit. And it would be good after an hour, but it's excellent overnight. So if you have the time, make it ahead and just give it a good swirl. We'll call it a swirl um, every few hours, just so it kind of distributes the liquid. All right, so here's our setup. Depending on how you like to eat your poke, sometimes I like to eat it with just a salad, but I feel like I need a little something more today because it is just watermelon. So I made some brown rice. We made it in the Instant Pot because it does double as a rice cooker too. I'm just gonna scoop 
a little bit on the side or right on top. And now we're gonna scoop our watermelon poke. Look, the marinade just made it so vibrant looking. It's even more red and deep in color. And then for the toppings, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're gonna add some avocados to keep us nice and satiated. A little bit of radish, some cucumbers for an extra crunch. I like sushi ginger. We're not done yet. This Japanese barbecue sauce is one that I recently found and it's so yummy with like salmon, but it's so good with rice too, like a rice bowl. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit all over everything to flavor up our other veggies. If you like some creaminess to your rice bowl, a little bit of mayo and sriracha never hurts. I just like a little bit. We won't go too crazy with this. <laughs> and finally, we'll just garnish it with some furikake, which is like seaweed seasoning with sesame seeds and some green onions. Honestly, from the looks of this, you can't even tell that it's watermelon. It looks like the real thing. That is really, really, really delicious. It's refreshing so much flavor the miso marinade mm, it's like nice and salty but you still get the sweetness from the watermelon and then like the watermelon crunch still stays intact if you guys have not tried watermelon poke yet like i cannot suggest enough for you to make this and if you do be sure to tag me on instagram thank you so much for watching the videos every day lately i'm unofficially doing a 30 days challenge and we'll be uploading a video every day so please tune in and let me know what kind of recipes you guys want to see um anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow bye